Just spit it out, dude. You know, it's not that they lost. It's a bit that they lost. Okay, it's a bit about that they lost, but it's that they lost in overtime. I know, man. I didn't expect such a long game out of such a short team. Boom! You ready? Bing, bing. Big news. What? Oh, seriously? Uh, no pigs yet. What? Uh, what was he doing? Wow. Bring them on. Beautiful. And to off the first short joke of the season. We're back here in the studio, I guess, for another season of LFR, and we got to start off with a loss. Because the Leafs lose 4-3 to the Montreal Canadiens. In overtime! I ended up watching the game downtown with a few friends, which means I was at the Leafs tailgate party. And it was great because I got to see a bunch of friends, but it sucked because there were so many Habs fans there. We've been infiltrated! And the Habs fans were cheering on the Canadiens, but... Inadvertently, so were the Leafs fans. Do not boo the Montreal Canadiens. You ever watch a hockey game in French? Et la boo! That means and a goal. And boo, spelled but, means goal. So when you boo them, it's like going goal. And they're all thinking, mm, yeah, that's not a bad idea. I got an idea. From now on, when you want to boo the Habs, just look at them and say, no. On to the finer points of the game. Big props goes to the Habs' best player last night, Mike Commissaire. He's what? When he was on the ice, he was great. However, he was rarely on the ice. You can't be taking that many penalties. Yeah, he got in a fight. Yeah, he laid a couple of good hits. But all that I look at when the other team scores a power play goal is who was in the box. And Leafs fans shouldn't be shocked because Commissaire finished second, second, in minor penalties last season in the entire NHL. What? A friend of mine pointed out that maybe he's trying to send out a message to his team that he's not part of them anymore. That's fair and good, but they got two points. And Luke Shen did not look very good, which I don't find myself saying very often. And even though the Leafs way, way outshot the Montreal Canadiens, I felt like the Habs controlled the flow of the game, didn't you? But ultimately, it's the first game of the season, and there's tons of positive. Matt Stagenpot's two power play goals, didn't think I'd be saying that. And Stahlberg doesn't just look NHL fast, he looks Stahlberg fast. Fast. There was one play in the first half of the game where the Habs defenseman looked back at Stahlberg like he was the boulder from Indiana Jones. Da, 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 da. One last thing, because I know Toronto's going to give it to Toscala today. Calm down. Not a good game, but not a bad game. What did they expect him to do on the Gionta gold? No one was there. Like, I could use a little bit of help. It was a rough affair. Colt Noor and Jay Rosehill getting into fights. There were positives. There were negatives. Ultimately, it was two very new-looking teams facing each other and one of them came out on top. And ultimately, Leafs fans, Habs fans, Bruins fans, Capitals fans, anyone that played yesterday, you gotta remember one thing. One down, 81 to go. I think he's right.